I was obsessed with magazines when I was younger. When I had the realization that I didn't see anyone in the magazines that looked like me, I'm like, oh, well maybe there is, and I just don't have that magazine. I remember when I was like on AOL.com and I would like search wheelchair model, nothing will show up. A few years ago when I did go back and Google wheelchair model just to see if there's anybody else out there, I was the first photo that showed up, which was such a moment for me um, because it was a flashback of when I was younger. I'm Julia Mercado and I'm a model and creative. So if someone wanted to be my friend, I would have to say to get ready for an adventure because I have an adventurous life. At age 13, I found out I had a muscular dystrophy. Ever since like, I can remember or have recollection, I've always been in a wheelchair. I can't really say that I'm worse or better than a quote-unquote normal person because nobody's really normal. My muscles spasm. I try to like go deep within myself for like 0.5 seconds and go, you got this girl. <laughs> What's something that might surprise someone about having muscular dystrophy? Girl, how long do we have? I don't really care answering any questions about my disability because curiosity is a great thing. A lot of misconceptions that people have with people who have disabilities are that we have no social life. We stay at home all day and do nothing. We do not date, that's a funny one. We do not do anything really but feel miserable for our lives. And what's the truth? Uh, no. <laughs> what are you talking about? My reasoning behind loving fashion so much there is no word for it. It was something that I needed like water, but I was always questioning it because I'm like, okay, well, this is an industry that everything is like zoomed in. Everyone sees every single detail. My detail is very big. <laughs> At that time, I wanted to be an editor or like an editor in chief of a magazine. And I would like flip through these magazines. It's like, wait, I really don't see anyone, like anyone who looks like me in these magazines. Which one do you like better? I might go for that. In my mind, I felt like I had to work a million times harder to prove everyone in the fashion world that I was there and for them to not see my disability, to see me first. I honestly didn't consider modeling as a career because I didn't think that it was a such thing. After my first campaign, my whole life completely 180'd. The Today Show, they called me and they wanted to interview me. A few months later, I got signed, which is insane. So like my coworker is K Moss. Like what, like what is going on with my life? That is uh, like so beyond awesome. It took me a while to say that I'm a model because in my mind, I was still struggling with the idea of having model and disability in the same sentence. I know that while I'm alive, I'm going to do everything that I can to make sure that the conversation is still going. You want to see yourself, especially if you're in a category where people call you different and weird. You want someone to be like, well, how about that person who made it? I can be that person. If you feel like the world is getting you down, you should be the person to change it. <laughs>